It's Darren Wood here at Aquatech 2017 and I'm on the Borgen Overstrom stand and I'm talking with Richard Gibbon and we're talking about the B4 which the company has unveiled here at the show. Richard, thanks for joining me today. Please tell me all about the B4 because it's quite an exciting innovation. Thank you very much, uh, Darren. It's great to be here. Uh, the show's been really successful, so we've been really pleased with the interest shown so far. And just to take you through the uh, B4 system, obviously this is a brand new for the show, so we've been uh, working hard behind the scenes to make sure we got everything right. Um, I just want to talk briefly about the uh, totality system. So this is our whole approach to hygiene, which for Borgen Overstrom is really important. Um, and that uh, incorporates the three brands, Sterizen, uh, Finil and Vivant, which is our uh, UV filtration which we've incorporated into the machine. It's the finish of the product, which uh, is non-porous and means that bacteria doesn't actually grow on the machine. And then it's also what we do in-house to all of our products, which is uh, essentially a process of wet testing, of pressure testing the machines, so that when they're delivered to site, uh, the distributor and consumer has 100% confidence in the machine. And you mentioned about the three, uh, the three dynamics that this machine has. How important are those for consumers who are looking for a water cooler dispenser? In our eyes it's really important and from the feedback we've gained has been uh, very instrumental in people's choice with the machine. Um, we are talking about water here, drinking water, so hygiene is really important and uh, we've recognised that over the recent years. And that's why we've worked really hard to bring this uh, this concept and branding together, but the, the totality is just the, the brand name. The, the process of innovation in hygiene has been a, something that's core to the whole brand. So the most obvious thing here is the touchscreen display, which has been very well received. Um, it's something new for us, something new for the marketplace. Uh, we've increased the dispense size, so now you can incorporate sports bottles and bigger um, size cups, which is great. Um, you've got an inbuilt cup dispenser with the machine and then inside you've got the base cabinet which is great for storing larger CO2 cylinders some of our markets require that yeah. um, and you've got space for the waste system below which is level sensed so coupled with the filtration inside the machine uh, it's giving you options which is why it's so popular it's available in hot, cold, sparkling and ambient giving our distributors a choice with their consumers and let's talk about the totality in the B4 machine. How long was the idea um, in the pipeline and how long has it taken to come to marketplace? The totality has been around for about four years now. We've been working on that. Um, the actual launching of the branding is here at the show today, but we've been working like this for the last four to five years, um, really four years properly, putting the, the processes in place in our HQ in Norwich to make sure that we we, make, we can deliver that to the customer. I, I presume that launching a new product, and especially a product like this one that aims to kill bacteria, um, I presume there are a lot of challenges, so please can you talk to me about them? Yeah sure, uh, there's a lot of questions that we face, a lot of thought process, process, a lot of brainstorm sessions that go into the launch of a new product and all of this is driven from the marketplace. Um, so, you know, we're not, we're not designing something which is not connected, it's, it's totally relevant. But it has taken time and the challenges have been uh, on making sure we've got the, the right components for this latest totality launch, um, which we feel we've covered well and, and the reception from the customers and distributors has been great feedback. So. And looking to the future, Borg and Overstrom are always innovating. What's next in the pipeline for you? Do you have any, uh, any new innovations that are coming up? We've been focusing on our dispenser range. Um, one of the things we're going to look at next is the Horica market to look into that sector. Uh, we've got a few ideas. There's always innovation running at the company. Uh, we take feedback from our entire client base. So that's going to be our next area to look at. And we'll have more on Borg and Overstrom on foodbev.com very soon. Richard, thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you very much.